The following video contains step-by-step -step instructions on how to properly install the 2.5 through 4 inch air gap assembly. These are the tools required. Close the number 2 shutoff valve. Close the number 1 shutoff valve. Open the number 4 test cock. Open the number 3 test cock. Open the number 2 test cock. Use an adjustable wrench to disconnect the sensing loop. Using two box wrenches, loosen the two relief valve cover bolts that are directly below the two relief valve mounting bolts. Insert the sensing line through the hole on the mounting bracket. Make sure the mounting bracket tabs are facing downwards. Use the provided bolts to tighten the mounting bracket to the relief valve. Make sure the mounting bracket lays flush against the relief valve cover. Insert the sensing line through the circular hole in the air gap shield. Make sure the air gap shield lays flush against the valve body. Make sure the bolt heads are on the inside of the air gap shield. Using two box wrenches, attach the air gap shield to the mounting bracket. Using an adjustable wrench, reinstall the relief valve sensing line. Attach the rubber retainer to the bottom of the air gap shield. For easier installation, use liquid soap to help lubricate the rubber retainer. Attach the bottom of the rubber retainer to the draining pipe. For easier installation, use liquid soap to help lubricate the rubber retainer. With a flathead screwdriver, tighten down the rubber retainer straps. Slightly open the number one shutoff valve. Close the number two test cock. Close the number three test cock. Close the number four test cock. Fully open the number one shutoff valve. Fully open the number two shutoff valve. For more information about the Derringer product line, further technical support, or to download a copy of these instructions, please visit our website.